Hey everybody, this is Nicole. And today we are going to be unboxing some uh, Happy Mail that I got from Mama G. So she and I did a uh, yarn swap and um, I sent her one of my uh, premium mystery boxes and I um, got one of her mystery boxes and um, I, so, okay, so she's, okay, so she has a note in here. She says, it's not a mystery box, it's a yarn swap. So I sent her um, one of my boxes and it had um, a lot of fun stuff in it. So um, I haven't seen her post anything on it. Um, I've kind of been like way out there on not like, it's awful. Um, when I got uh, COVID, everything has changed for me uh, physically because I had gotten so sick and I'm still sick. So anyway, um, that's neither here nor there, but we are gonna um, go ahead and open and see what she sent me. Um, so for those of you who are my uh, returning Ohana members, welcome back, welcome back. I'm sure you haven't uh, seen uh, me record a video in a while because, you know, since I got sick, although I have held some lives, um, I haven't actually filmed a video in a while. So this is kind of weird, um, if that even makes any sense. So um, if you are new, Thank you so much for clicking on uh, my video. I appreciate it. I hope you will subscribe and join uh, the family. Um, I don't like using the word subscriber. I like using the word Ohana, which means family. And because I find it more personal rather than saying you guys are just all numbers because I don't think that way. Um, and this channel, um, we talk about yarn, we talk about um, the resin items that I make. I do live resin pours. I also do, um, I do my favorite thing, which is opening mystery boxes. I also, um, we also talk about tough subjects like um, mental health um, and how important it is to uh, discuss it to talk about it with people who are struggling with it because uh, sometimes they don't, you know, feel like they have a right to, or they feel like they're complaining about it. So sometimes it's good to check in and on those people and, you know, to say, hey, are you doing okay? Um, because, um, and it doesn't have to be some like long drawn out phone call or a text message. Sometimes it's, you know, hey, how are you doing? Um, you know, and, you know, letting them kind of just take the lead because sometimes it's, it's not necessarily about asking them, asking for advice. It's about them just wanting somebody to listen or knowing that there is somebody, uh, that, um, is there for them. Um, and then the other thing that we talk about is chronic pain, chronic illness, which I also have and how they uh, tie together because they do um, it for those of you who deal with either or or both know that um, if you have a if you have chronic illness or visible or invisible sometimes mental uh, health problems develop unfortunately um, it's because it's tough it's really tough um, like when I found out I have fibromyalgia and that I have pain 24 seven, um, my depression got worse. My anxiety, my social anxiety got worse. My agoraphobia has like gone through the roof for most of the time. I don't want, I don't want to leave the house. I would prefer to just stay home and not deal with anybody. Um, plus it is really hard for me to get around. Um, and a lot of times people are not cognizant of that because they look at me and they see, you know, a supposedly quote unquote healthy, um, person when in reality I am not. Um, and then the other thing is, is that, um, with mental health, it also f affects you physically. So like, for example, for me, 
um, when I have panic attacks. And, you know, understand I'm not a therapist, I'm not a doctor or anything. I'm just going off of my experiences when, when I talk about this um, because I want to create a safe space for people to talk about it, to ask questions, to uh, know that um, you have somebody out there that is going through something similar to you. Um, but for me, like, for example, whenever I have a panic attack, um, my, like, I start to hyperventilate, um, I get, I start sweating, I, my body starts shaking and stuff like that. Um, so, so yeah, it kind of, it sucks in a lot of the, you know, there's no better way to put it. Um, and, but the thing is, is the reason why I started this channel is also to bring awareness about that. And then also to say that, um, like talking about the fun stuff and going, you know, to do retail therapy, um, with buying yarn and opening mystery boxes, um, and then doing the resin pours and all that, uh, which I consider, you know, like crocheting and knitting as art therapy. Um, and... Uh, I'm doing um, some batch filming, so if this looks familiar, that's the reason why. Um, so I um, am also thinking about uh, learning how to dye yarn, but that won't happen until after I move. Um, I'm planning on probably next week going through my stash and boxing up some more of my stash and um, pre-boxing them, which is not how I normally do it, and um, then selling them. So uh, I've already put something out on the community tabs about it. And so um, once I know how much I have of each, uh, then I'll let you guys know. And then you can uh, email me at fibroyarn at yahoo.com after I let you know how much I have and then um, just to let you know ahead of time, because I am pre-packing them, uh, the boxes will have yarns that have wool in them. So if you're allergic to the yarns that have wool in them, I would suggest you not order it until I've moved and have my stash rebuilt, which is fun for me because then I can go yarn shopping again because I'm on a no, like, strict no buy. So like this box here, I got a couple of months ago. Um, it's just that I haven't physically been able to, and I still physically, it's difficult for me to do a lot of things after I got the big C. Um, so, um, I am, once I have moved, I will, I'm going to build back my stash up and then be able to organize everything because the um, place that the house that we're uh, renting is twice the size of what where we are now so I have like this like whole storage thing that I'll be able to um, put my yarn in the way I wanted to because right now it's just like this mound of a mess and I hate it so um most of them are packed away the way the way they should be. It's just it's, they're in like piles everywhere, and I don't like it, and it really bugs me. Um, so anyway, um, that's me. This is the channel, and we are gonna hop on and hop on over and jump into the box and see what Mama G sent. And um, and she is an amazing person. So um, she sent the sticky big hugs. This is. Um, a yarn swap, not a mystery box, many hugs and much love, Mama G. Right back at you. Okay, so, um, she sent this really fun postcard because she knows that I like Alice in Wonderland. Um, so, if you see here, we've got Alice with her flamingo, uh, croquet club with the Queen of Hearts. Um, that's just the trouble with me. I give myself very good advice but I very seldom follow, follow it. Yeah, that's pretty much me. Okay, and then this is fun. Okay, so she sent a book of puzzles. So it looks like um, there are uh, like crossword puzzles. Um, arrow word so it's like so this it says 
So this, so arrow word. This puzzle works exactly like a crossword, only the clues are embedded within the grid. The arrows point in the to the direction the clue applies, either down or across. Um, and then um, let's see what else. So yeah, um, you know, puzzles like this. So this would be something fun to. Uh, take with me on the airplane and do uh, because I can never I can never sleep on an airplane and then oh fun stickers and these are great stickers to put in resin because they're plastic stickers so thank you those would definitely be fun to put in resin all right so let's see what we've got here so she sent me uh, two skeins of base Babe Soft Cotton Worsted. This here. Um, in, uh, I don't know if you want to call this, like, uh, it's like it's a cream and maybe brown, and it's called Sweet Dream. And it's a four weight 55% um, acrylic, 45% cotton. And it's 100 grams or 246 yards. Um, so I've got two of these. And let's see. I've got um, two um, skeins of, and this is one of my favorite brands, Universal Yarn. Um, and this one is... It's Wisdom Yarns uh, Allegro, and it's super fine. And it, so it's 93% acrylic and 7% PBT. Um, 100, 100 grams or 470 yards. And um, it's gorgeous. It reminds me of the ocean because it's got um, white and like this uh, sea green and turquoise and uh, like dark blue. So I've got two skeins of that. And she sent me Three fidget spinners. Kids would like that. And then this is fun. A fan. It's black and white. It looks like a black and white fan. Take it out of the organza bag. So gorgeous. It's white with black and the gold embellish here and white roses and the gold embellish around the roses and the nice gorgeous lacy top there and then uh the black tassel on the bottom and it came in a black organza bag i love it I still think this is a mystery box because this is fun because I don't know what you sent me. And then, always fun stuff, um, stickers, stickers, stickers. Um, so, stay spooky sticker in a rainbow heart. Uh, I, yep, stickers. This one is not... Yeah, these are paper stickers, so I can't use this, but I can, or I can probably wrap them in uh, packing tape and put them in resin, but I probably can just stick them on um, like one of my notebooks and then a pin and a pry pin and then some yummy uh, coffee candies, these here. I have to hide them because otherwise I will not get to eat them. Somebody else will eat them. Uh, 
Um, and then um, she also included her business card here. So it has her uh, website, mamagear.com, and her email, mamagear at yahoo.com. Uh, so Etsy, Facebook, and Insta. So I follow her on Insta along with her daughter, Rusty Blades. They are awesome on YouTube together. Hilarious duo. I love them to death. And then every uh, crocheter slash knitter needs darning needle. I have a zillion of them because I always manage to lose the one I'm uh, using. So, um, and I love the plastic ones over the metal ones. And then, ooh, she sent some fun uh, stitch markers or slash earrings. Could totally wear them in ear earrings, earrings. So one of them um, has, uh, looks like some orange beads in them. And then the other one is uh, this very cute peach. So it's got this clasp here, so I could wear them as earrings. I don't normally wear jewelry. Um, I used to have, like, I don't wear rings. I used to. Um, I ended up having to have them actually cut off of my fingers because uh, the fibromyalgia had made my fingers swell up so much um, that I physically could not take them off of my hands anymore. I had to go to the uh, jeweler and they had to cut my wedding ring off. They had to cut my engagement ring off. They had to cut off the, um, all the, like I had one, two anniversary bands that my husband had given to me. Um, no, so one anniversary band and a, a solitaire um, and, and a pink amethyst off of my fingers. I was so upset because they had to cut it off. Um, so I have to go now and we have to get them resized because my fingers, while they look like they're fine, when I had them on my hands, um, like, you could see like how swollen my fingers were. So that's, I don't, my ears are pierced. I don't, I don't wear jewelry because I'm afraid that something's going to happen. All right, so next out of the box is this fun pack. It's, I bet one, two, three, four, five. It is uh, yarn art. Um, Let's see, let me just take a look. Okay, so it's yarn art style, 67% uh, cotton and 33% viscose. Um, color, this one is color 650. It's a two weight. And so this one, definitely white. So it's five little mini skeins and they're all the same. It looks like, yeah, so it's all, so it's, 50 grams um, and 202.32 yards. And so this one is color 661, which is kind of this hot pink uh, color. And this one is a nice foresty green, color number 679. Um, and then this one is Color number 657, which is, um, I don't know. This this reminds me of the sun, the sunshiny yellow. And then the last one is color number 674 and a nice shiny lavender. Back in the bag there. some hair there. Remember that. 
All right, next. Um, okay, so this I've had before. Not this particular one, but this particular brand. Um, so this one is... And it's five uh, schemes of uh, Ali's Diva. And it is 100% microfiber, micro, my, oh, words, microfiber acrylic. Um, and it's, it's this really fun uh, color um, because if you can see here, it's got this like lavender peeking through um, with like orange, yellow, um, and like pumpkin colors. So it's, it kind of reminds me of the sunset. So um, it's a diva batik um, and it is 100 grams or 300 and, uh, 383 yards. Um, and it is an Okotex uh, yarn, which is always important. So, um, so I got five uh, stains of that. And then let's see what else here. Ooh. I like these. Um, so this is... Um, this is like the Sari Silk bags. It's so it's um who has them? I think it's Darn Good Yarn. I know they have things like this. I think this is where they come from. I'm not 100 percent sure, but this is gorgeous. Um it's geometrical uh, navy blue with uh red and then on the bottom um green and a geometrical red. Um, so I'm gonna stop right here for a second and we are about 20 minutes in. Um, and just FYI, I am doing some um, secret giveaways. So um, the like so this video and then another video that I'll be dropping, because today is Sunday. Um, if you watch it from beginning to end and make a comment, I might pick somebody that comments on the video as long as you're a subscriber. Um, that's of course important. And you give me a thumbs up and you hit that notification button. I've got five furls uh, hooks uh, that I'm probably planning on giving away um plus i have another giveaway going on that is uh where if you give um on my lives any super chats super stickers or any thanks um donations because it helps with shipping and any of prizes um you will get a ticket entered in for a prize that I'm doing. And the, um, the giveaway is running until the end of May, so the 31st. So um, midnight the 31st, and then I'll, I'll pick the winner at the beginning of June. Um, the prize is a $50 gift, gift certificate to Hobie, 25 to Furls, and then 25 to Etsy. So um, you will get a ticket. Uh, like one of these and um, I will pick the winner uh, that way and um, so I've already got a bunch of them uh, from my lives that I've had and um, I think I'm gonna try to do another at least one more live here in the next couple of days at least before the month ends and then, um, yeah, so, you know, watch the videos to the end. You never know. You can win a Furl's hook. Or, so, like, uh, so a $100 worth of gift, gift cards. 
So anyhow, um, just putting it out there. Um, all right. So next, um, so then this one is I like these. This one is shawl and a cake, um, lion brand, and it's in this beautiful blue color. Um, and it's got a uh, dark blue, turquoise, navy blue, um, light blue, and essentially what it is is this cake here you should be able to make a shawl um from it so it is called healing teal um and this is what it says that it looks like when it works up and um it is 481 yards 150 grams and it is a four weight so i love a for whatever reason, I love yarn that's in cake form. Um, next is this one. Ooh, another one. This one is a shawl and a ball. And it's, um, this one reminds me of kind of like a lemonade or co cotton candy. Um, so it's got lavender, yellow, and then you kind of see the blue peeking in um, from the center um and it is 58 percent cotton 39 percent acrylic and three percent other fiber uh, i don't know what that means by it should tell you what the other fiber is but whatever um and then that is what it looks like worked up um and then again this like the cake is supposed to you should be able to make a shawl out of it um and it is 481 yards or 150 grams. And it is a four weight. And then um, I've got two skeins of um, premium yarn, knit and crochet element, or 90% cotton and 10% acrylic, 102 yards or uh 50 grams um it's a four weight and it's in this really soft um and so it's cream and it's in this really soft um, ball here so it is i love it and then this is fun i've seen these so um so um, it's supposed to be this where um, each ball or wheel makes uh, two amigurumis. So you can see there. So I've seen these um, actually at Ben Franklin. Um, so it is, um, so it's supposed to be two snails and Let's see, what does it tell me? It's a uh, super fine, so it's a one. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? So it's 242 yards or three and a half ounces and it's 100% acrylic. Um, so it looks like it is, yeah. So it's a lime green in the center, yellow, purple, and then uh, the blue, um, blurple and uh, pink on the outside. So I'm assuming, you know, like I said, it's this, oops, this one and then this one. And then, Oh, she sent another bag. This one is just as gorgeous. It's got a paisley design in uh, this nice, gorgeous, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, caramel or uh, dusty red color, and then a sand. And then uh, the front pocket is uh, this green, um geometric 
pattern. I've seen these on the sari skirts that Mama G has. Wow, Mama G. Uh, you outdid yourself. Thank you. Because, yeah, um, having COVID really sucks. And now I have long COVID and it is just, no, I can't. I have to use a nebulizer. Um, I am, this was in the box. Is this a stitch marker? I'm not sure. Um, cause it looks like it's polymer clay and, uh, two different size, uh, hooks on each side. So I'm assuming that's what it is. You can correct me if I'm wrong or just being dumb, but that's what it looks like to me. Okay. And then I got, we're going to finish it up. We've got, uh, two balls again of the premium yarn knit and crochet uh, product element in 90% cotton, 10% acrylic, 102 yards and uh, 50 grams. And this one is a four, uh, I'm trying to find the color and it is gray. So it's not completely gray as you can see. Um, it's more um, gray and white and black. So uh, she sent me two of these. And then the last one, another yarn art flowers. And this, I love pink and green, pink and green, pink and gray together. Um, this one is the flowers moonlight and love the sparkle as you can see so it's got a dark pink to light pink light gray to dark gray with the gorgeous silver sparkles so it's 53 percent cotton 43 percent 43 percent pac and four percent uh, metallic polyester which obviously is the nice silvery sparkle um and it's color 3293 love it i love this plus it's in cake form i love i love yarn in cake form i don't know why it's just that's just it's weird all right so um i know it's a bit long but uh thank you for sticking around if you have um definitely make sure you hit subscribe um uh, hit the like button and um yeah just doing no giveaways just to let you know secret giveaways the other one uh with the gift cards and so uh, if you it, obviously it's there is absolutely no obligation whatsoever as far as the do donations go um uh but if you want to be entered in for uh, any of the surprise giveaways, make sure you watch to the end. Um, and then uh, just leave a comment, um, anything. Just comment something about the video um, so I know that you've watched it from beginning to end. And then um, as I put everything away, um, because that's just me, uh, and thank you guys for uh, sticking around, being patient with me because, yeah, it's been a rough couple of months. I know I've got, a, you know, a, a while yet to let, till I recover uh, from long COVID because I still um, have difficulties of breathing when I walk, sleep, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And um, the expectation of me suddenly getting better uh, is not, you know, like there, but um, I just take each day as it comes and try to remember what you guys told me and say, you know, not overdo it. Whew. And um, 
not to push it because um, it's, it's just not worth it. So, um, again, like I said, you have to be a subscriber if you want to enter any of my giveaways. So, um, I have the gift card giveaway going on right now. And then, uh, like I said, that is, uh, you have to get a ticket for that. Um, and then if you want to have the possibility of winning a furls hook, uh, yeah, make a comment. What, make sure you watch the video from beginning to end and all of that fun stuff. Um, I will uh, be putting all of the rules and everything in the uh, comment sections below. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye. This is um, post edit, even though I don't uh, really edit my videos. What you see when I post them is pretty much what I've done. So anyhow. Um, it, this, if you have watched to the end and you have gotten to this part, um, which means you have gotten to the end and you want to enter into the secret giveaway, it is valid everywhere. Um, the only thing that I ask is if you are outside of the U.S. that you split the shipping, um, in half, uh, with me. So it, so like right now I'm thinking about giving away furls hooks. So shipping shouldn't be too expensive. It's probably like maybe three or four bucks. Um, and then if we split it in half and then there are other prizes that I'm planning on thinking about giving away for the secret giveaways. So any other videos that I do drop live or otherwise, be sure you you never know make sure you comment make sure you watch to the end because my plan is from now until probably um the very like the beginning of july i will be doing uh secret giveaways or just giveaways um so make sure you're paying attention and watch my videos it also helps me out uh, with the algorithm and all that stuff. If one, you have subscribed to, if you like the, um, the video and you hit the notification button, um, I really, really would love to hit 1100 so I can do another uh, milestone giveaway. And then, um, yeah, uh, I'll have to double check to see when my anniversary is because then I'll do another, um, like, a uh, Potiversary Madness um, week like I did with my monetization uh, madness where I broke it up um, because I think it was fun that way. Plus, then I don't get quite so exhausted. Um, so, yeah, just to let you know, it's open everywhere. If you are outside of the U.S. Um, and you want to participate, um, all I ask is, is that you, uh, uh, sh split the shipping with me 50, 50, um, and, uh, I'll probably ship it USPS priority mail. And I think it's like $8. So, uh, that would mean you would just need to give me three or four bucks. So that's it. Thanks.